all right welcome to this video so in this video i want to show you how you can create a contact form from scratch and for 100 percent free so i assure you that by the end of this video you will know how to create a form like this that can be used as a contact form on your wordpress website or as an order form on your sales page and yes for 100 percent free so without further ado let's get started so you log into your WordPress dashboard like so. I don't have to show you how to log in. So you go to your WordPress website, forward slash WP dash admin to log in. So once you log in, now this is a part one video. I'm going to make a part two video where I will show you how to make an order form with the second form builder or form plugin that I use. In this first video, I want to show you how to use Fluent Forms. All right. So what you do, you go to, once you log in, you go to um, plugin, click on add new plugin. Okay, so you're going to bring it to add new plugins like this. So what you just need to type is the name Fluent Fluent Form, right? So just type Fluent Form and the first form that will pop up here is the form that you're going to work with. So you're going to see by contact form plugin by Fluent Forms. Make sure it's from contact form WP, whatever their name is. So you're going to click install. Just like you see here, you're going to click install now and also click activate. So once you click install and activate, once you go to your installed plugin, you're going to see Fluent Form right here. And also, it's going to appear on this left-hand part of your uh, WordPress dashboard. So this is where we're going to work from. So from here, just click on it. So since I'm not installing this for the first time, you can see I already created uh, uh, two forms. Okay, I think this is the default form, but I already created one. So for you to create a brand new form, now this is free. We're not upgrading to the Pro yet or forever if you, if you don't want to. So just click on Add a New Form. Once you click on add a new form, you can see they have they have dozens of templates to work with. But most of these templates are if you have a what they call it a paid plan, all right, a pro pro version. You can also create a conversational form, just like a survey with a fluent form. This is amazing. But right now, I want to create an order form for my website that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I can click on create a new form from this blank section because I want to impute my own field. So you click create form. The first thing I like to do once I click create form and it brings me to the editor dashboard, I like to first of all edit the name of the form to my product form. So I can just say um, shoes form. Now you can name it whatever you want to name it and I click rename. So once I'm done with that, now on fluent form on the editor pl platform, there are two ways you can add a field or impute field to your form. You can do it from this right hand side or you can simply do it by clicking on this plus sign also you can scroll down if you want to watch a video tutorial on how it works you can simply do simply do that or just follow my video and do it as i do all right so now here i just want to use this this, this uh, section on the plus term because it's quite easy now if you've been using this form for a long time all the all the fields you are using is going to appear on the recent uh, your recent tab which will make it easier for you to use whenever you're creating a new form but in this case let's go with general because you're doing it for the first time so the first thing we are doing right here now let me open my form and show you what we are doing right here the first thing we're doing is our first name phone number email address so let's do that so we are adding the name tab now you can see they have the first name and the last name i don't like it to be like so so what i do i click on the pen tool and the edit section is going to come up over here so i'm going to uncheck last name i'll click on this drop down right here all right i'm going to change this to full name okay also i'm going to change this to full name all right so i'm going to scroll down i'll make this section required because i want them to give me their details so if they don't this is what they're going to get as an error message this field is required thank you so once you do that you are good with this section we come over here we click on the plus sign and we're adding uh, a phone number section now for phone number, let me show you something on this input section. For phone number, you can see phone number only works if you are a paid member. So, but that's that's okay because we have another way of doing it. What we are going to do, we're going to use the simple text uh, input or the simple text uh, element. So, just click here. I'll just look for the simple text and we we'll click on it. So, we we'll click on anywhere on it or we we'll click on the pen tool. So that you click anywhere or you click on the pen tool to activate the editor section. So, right here, I'll just put phone number. So you can do that as I, I'm also going to make this field required. Okay. I want them to give me their phone number because this is an other form. And once you put required, it's going to add your red asterisk right here. So the next thing I want to add 
is the email address i need your email so once you put that field you can click here or click here again same thing email address place where that field email address i'm going to put required and that field is done so the next thing we are adding is what is gender select package so in this section in this part in this part what we're going to add is a drop down because they have to click on it they will see the drop down okay so we're going to add a drop down so we drag it down you can see the work here just dragging it down let me just drag this down and drop it below here now if you made a mistake by dropping it above you can simply hold this down and drag it to wherever you want okay so this is section we click on the pen tool to edit and we said is what gender so gender is the next gender and we're going to add something like select so whenever they click on gender this, this select is going to be there whenever they see it so the first one we're doing here is male the second one is female and we're done with that so i like to click on show values all right so that i get these values whenever they fill the form so again i'm going to make this required now over here i'm, I'm just going to duplicate this because we have another session that's a drop down so i'm going to duplicate this section simply by clicking on this copy icon so we have two of those and over here i'll click this and i want to make this select package okay so again i'll come over here what package do you want buy one for what price 20 or 30,000 or 20,000 or whatever your price is buy two so i'm going to take this out take this out or let's click on remove this okay so you can, or you can also do buy three click on this plus sign to click buy three for how much let's say 55,000 okay so we you're happy with that again because it's duplicated this one is already uh required checked as required so yeah we're done with that the next session we are adding is what delivery address now for delivery address what i like to do i like to add the address right here i'll scroll down to where it says address where is it address field sorry click on address now this part you're going to be careful depending on what you want to collect for me I don't want the second line so i'll just click i'll just uncheck this okay i don't want uh, zip code i don't want country all right and once i uncheck what i don't want i have to edit each label or each field individually so i'll go over here if i don't like the address line one i'm going to take it out and just put address line but i think address line one is fine and i'm going to make that field required close that down go to city yeah i like the city like so um, but i want to make it required i click check i check that same thing with states i like the states and i also want to make it required so that is how they're going to see it here address address line one same thing you have here okay so the next tab is will it be available within one to three days now that tab we're going to add a checkbox okay so I'll scroll down to where it says checkbox this is it checkbox click on it so we have a checkbox field now, right here, I'm just going to type add, will you be available within one to three days? Which is what's going to appear. Sorry, it's not going to appear there. Let's place that here. Okay. Also, I'll scroll down and make this a required field. Are you going to appear? Are you going to be available within one to three days to receive your package? We only have two options. The first option is yes, I'll be available. The second option is no, I won't be available. Whatever reason, they are not available for delivery. So, I'm just going to put that you can click show value if you want you can check it if you want and you can test things out to know what this means all right so once we're done with that we're done with the this is the last bit so we're going to add our form our button sorry so we have the button right here i'm going to click on the pen tool to edit the button so you can see i said yes send my order that's what we have here i don't like using submit form i'll just do like yes send my order okay so i like it like so and i'm going to make this uh i can make it large if i want i can make it small but i think large is perfect i can also put it at the center if i want but i think on the left is perfect because most of the form is going to be on the left so you can see how i'm doing it if i'm too fast please just re-watch this video or you can easily slow the timer on youtube okay so if i go to advanced section no not even advanced still on the same button you scroll down you click on this button style you can change this color to green just like i have here although this my color is custom so you can change it to green or you can scroll down orange gray whatever you want or you can scroll down to custom and you choose the color of background you want in my case i chose a particular green i want for my design okay so you can choose the hover you can just play with it just if they hover what color are they seeing you can play with this and make sure you have what you like once you are done make sure you click save 
form. Now you can see success, the form is successfully updated. Now the next tab we are going, remember the first tab is change the name of the form. The second tab is the editor where we added all these fields. The third tab is settings and integration. This is very, very crucial because when they fill the form, where what are they getting next? Where are they going? If you leave this as simple page, you're going to get this message. Thank you for your message, blah, blah, blah. We'll get in touch with you. If you add a page, if you create a page or a thank you page where you want them to land after filling the form, you just simply choose that page here. You can see I created a page. Now, if you want to add a link to the page, all right, you want to like add a link to the page. So you just add your thank you page here. All right, your thank you page here, your thank you page link. And once you're done with that, make sure you click save setting. All right, so you can see it's saved. Now, the next thing we need to do, you can scroll down, you can leave this as it is. All right, I don't like touching what I don't know. Now, maximum number of entries. I messed up with this when I first started. And trust me, I went and choose one. I thought, I thought this field means somebody should not be able to fill the form more than once not knowing the whole form can only be filled once <laughs> all right so but if you want to do that make sure the person do not fill the form more than once a day you can just click on based on ip ip but hey trust me just turn this off right just not to mess up with your form and once you're happy with everything click save settings which we've done now the next bit is going to the next tab which is email notification very very crucial part now, since this is your first form, you're going to toggle this to enable it. Now, click on this setting icon, this blue setting icon to edit this. Now, what is the name of this particular email notification? For me, it's a new order for a particular shoe I'm selling, all right? Or new shoe order, okay? New shoe order. Now, I want, I want this email. If you don't change this, it's going to be the email. The email notification is going to be sent to the admin email, which you're going to find on your settings. Okay. The email which this platform or your, your website is being built on. Like usually it used to be like admin at dot your web, at your website.com. But if you want this to show somewhere in your email address, let's say your Gmail address, for example, you want to get the other notification, just putting your email address right here. Now, for the subject, again, it's just something similar to this. I'll just put, hey, uh, we have <laughs> a new shoe order. For me, I like to leave this body part like this. I like to leave this form or submitted at embedded post link. This means that I always know the particular order page the person filled the form from. If you want to take it out, you can. If you want to test it out, you can also. This, make sure you leave it as all data meaning you're going to get the name the email address from of the person that filled the form so you scroll down make sure you leave everything as it is so once you're happy with that scroll down and you click save notification so once that is saved now other confirmation I, I don't think i have anything doing here even on this part i don't have anything now entries which is the fourth uh tab Right now, this is a brand new form. We're not going to see anything. If people start filling the form, you're going to see their details right here. So, boom, we are done creating a form from scratch. Now, how do we add this form to our sales page? Like so. That's the next section I'm going to show you right now. So, let's move to that. All right. So, to add this form on the sales page, like so, what I want to do, I want to recreate this particular section on my sales page. So, let me just click on this plus sign and click on this plus sign and add a section. Now, add a section, I will click on this part here, this middle part, to edit this section. I'm going to make this width around 800 and something, or maybe like so. Now, I'm also going to add, go to advanced section and add. If you watch my video on how to edit elemental templates, you understand all this. Because I want to show you how to create this particular section. So, I just want to add like 40 at the top, then maybe 50 at the bottom, or 60 at the bottom. I want the bottom to be wider or to give me more space this is what they call the padding all right so now i have this i want to change the color of this to be like something bluish i'm going to change this and bring it down here so i just want to make this different i just want to differentiate this if now i bring brought it down here for you not to see the difference but let me just keep it like this so that you can see the difference between this and this okay so once i'm happy with the color like so i'm just going to add of course, if you don't have, you don't need to add something like this. I'm going to add my title, which is what I'm going to add here. First of all, I'm just going to say order here, order now. 
I'm going to put this at the middle. Okay, I'm going to change the style of this particular font to or to white. I'm going to change this to maybe something really bold like poppins. Okay, I'm going to make the text let's say 100. If that's too big for you, you can reduce it. I'm going to take this to 900 to make it as bold as possible to transform. I'm going to change this to all uppercase so you can see how big it is, even though I use a different font here. But you can see we have something similar just within two minutes. <laughs> all right. So the next bit, I'm going to add a section like this. I'll go back to this particular section here. Yeah? I will drag another title and put it down there. I'm going to add enter. Okay. So once done with that, I'm going to center it. I'm also going to go to style, make this white. You can, to edit, to add a green here, is something about code. I, I don't know if I can show you right now, but this is the code right here. This is the span code and the NLT. So I don't want to go into coding right now. I don't want to stress your brain. If I leave it white as it is, I'm going here. I'm going to make this text, let's say, uh, 40. That's even too big for me. I'm going to make it 30. That's fine. I'm going to change this to the particular font I want. I can decide to use something like Montserrat. Which is one font I really like. Okay, so I'll use Montserrat. So I'm happy with that. Next thing I want to do, I want to add a section. Now, to add a section, I will go over here and drag inner section and drop down there. So you can see we have two sections, but I'm just going to delete one because I need just one section. Okay, so this inner section, I'm going to make this particular column white. You can see it's transparent, but I click on this column, click on here, I'll go to style. And I'll make it white, just pure white, like so. And I'm go, I'll go to advance and I'll add my padding. I'll make sure they have 20 all round. Okay. 20 all round. Now you, you're not seeing this because it's not visible. So we go back to our form. I'm going to copy our form code. Click on it to copy. It's been copied to your clipboard. You go back here and you search for what we call, what they call short code. So search for short code, drag your short code into this section of this uh, column, leave it there. You can see your short code right there. Now on this bit, on this place, we say enter your short code. Remember we copied our code. We'll go back there and we'll paste that code right there. Boom. You just have a form. We just created a brand new form from scratch. Now, if you're not happy with this, you can easily go back here and change the button. All right. If it's not reflecting here, don't worry. Make sure you save and preview and see if this is if the color you chose here is reflecting here. All right. So we just created a form just like you can see right here with Fluent Form 100% free. Now, if you're using the free version of Elementor like me, trust me, you cannot use the Elementor form, the Elementor default form, which is really, really sweet to use. But unfortunately, we can't use it. But hey. We just have a form that we can use to collect our leads, our sales from our website. I hope you understand this video. If you don't, please just help me rewatch it. All right. Or slow down the pace so that you can understand. But this is how to create an order form for free on your website. You can see how it looks on mobile. Now, if the padding is too much for you, like you can see my padding here is kind of okay. If the padding is too much, click on the edit column. Go back here and check this. You can see. Then you cannot add maybe 10 all over if that's fine by you or you can uncheck it and say okay i want the top to be 20 i want the bottom to be 20 but i want the side to be 10. you can see we have more padding on this on the bottom more padding at the top but very little padding on the side now you have your wordpress uh your form for free now this is too big you click on this pen tool if it's too big it's kind of pulling up on the page you click on edit you go to style you click on edit now we have to take this to 90 or so or however you like it. I like it like so. Let's say I take it down to 47. Okay. I like it like so. And this text, I'm going to take it down a little bit. Go, go to style settings. I'll make it, let's say 20, 20 is fine. Okay. So if I, I can scroll down here. I'll make this on EM and I'll make sure it's 1.2, which is the line height. So I just showed you how I create my form. Although I take time in doing my stuff. This is a video. I don't want it to be too long. That's why I'm not taking too much time, but hey, I, under, I know you understand what I'm trying to say, but we'll just create a brand new form with Fluent Form for 100% free. Thank you so much. Watch the next video where I will show you how to create brand new form again with another form plugin. See you on that video.